Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. I came back from my holiday a few days ago and I wanted to share with you a bag that I bought on my trip. So if you love shopping in handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. You'll super love it. I actually recently, before I went on holiday, bought a Loewe bunny bag, which actually still has the tags on. I haven't used it yet and I really don't want to like return it. I think it's still within the returns window. The reason why I was unsure about this bag is because I have a real obsession for Hermes bags and I thought that maybe buying this Loewe bag would take away from any like future Hermes bag I might buy. And you know, I've just found out that they're going to do a Loewe Howl's Moving Castle now, which is also extremely tempting, but I feel like it's going to be very hard to get and I almost it, the, although they have the house moving castle collaboration i i still feel like this bunny is just like way too adorable so i think i'm gonna keep it I, honestly i honestly think i'm gonna keep it so and it just looks so cute so i'm just gonna like get yeah, anyways just giving you an update on that but uh, i was actually uh going through a few consignment stores in sydney and i came across this one that had um a lot of like hermes bags and i'm actually going to uh, do a shopping vlog of my visit to that store um i'm probably going to upload it next week but i thought before i show you the shopping vlog i'd show you what i bought from the store because I know you guys love unboxing. Not a bag at all, Kelly, luckily, because, I mean, I mean, that would be nice, but uh, I bought this because it was a pretty good deal. A few of you guys spotted it on my Instagram, and yeah, I just, it was a bag that I had on my mind for a while. I thought it would be a really great, like, grab and go style. So let's have a look what it is now. Um, Yes, let me let me open it up. Now I actually did an unboxing in my hotel room, but it was a little bit blurry, so I might just insert footage of that as well, just so you can see this bag in different lighting. But um, so I don't know why I'm unboxing it not on film, but it's like that. And oh, and it came with a receipt. Um, so it originally was purchased in 2019. It came with the box and the dust bag, basically and the care booklet so it's weird because they actually said that it didn't come with a receipt but then I found the receipt like hidden in the box so I don't know if they noticed that it came with the receipt but in any case I ended up getting this for about a thousand dollars less than retail so this was a bag that I was kind of thinking to get from the boutique because I know it's not as hard to get as like a Birkin but I thought it could be nice to buy it pre-loved just so I can make a little bit of a saving so, oh, and by the way, guys, I've got a charm in Twillies on it because I was using it before and I actually used it for like three days of my holiday straight. Um, most of my holiday, I was actually wearing my Gypsy Air bag, but when I picked this bag up, I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop wearing it, basically. Uh, here it is. <laughs> it's a garden party bag. Now, it is a pretty neutral color. I actually don't have that many super neutral bags. I mean, I've got uh, a blue Nui Ruli bag. I've got a Kelly 32 down here somewhere. But it's actually, sometimes I feel like it's just very easy to go for a dark color. So when I saw this color, I thought, oh, it's really pretty for one thing. Um, it's like a shade, it's a gray color, but the color is actually called Vert uh, Almond. So let me show you what the, on the box, it basically says the exact name. Yes, it says, uh, Garden Party 30 Vaux Nagonda Leather and Vert Amande. And, uh, yeah, but it actually doesn't really look green to me, but it does have a slight green tinge to it. And I believe the Garden Party you can get in the Nagoda Leather, which is this, which is this very thick grain. Um, and I don't actually have any other bags in this leather. And I think it also comes in the Country Cowhide leather, which is a slightly different grain again, and Epsom leather. I've also seen, I remember I was eyeing uh, on the pre-love market, there was this Morph Sylvester um, Epsom garden party. But the Epsom leather uh, tends to hold its structure a lot better than uh, like this kind of leather, which uh, tends to slouch a little bit more. As you can see here, it starts to slouch a little bit. 
which I don't mind because it kind of gives it that like slouchy Birkin look. Um, I did buy a Mai Tai collection bag insert as soon as I bought it, which I haven't got yet, just to protect the inside because if you look on the inside, it is a canvas lining um, but I will say that wearing this on my holiday it was very carefree I actually wore it without the twillies um, I feel like I don't know guys if you if you own this bag do you feel like like when you're holding it that the handles are stretching because I feel like the actual leather of the bag is quite heavy but then the handles feel very flexible so I feel like over many years of wearing this bag the handles may stretch a little bit um, but I think that's just the style of the bag it is a very like casual smushy bag and I quite like the way that it does slouch actually I think if I was going to get this in like a different variation maybe I'd try an Epsom leather in like a bright color or something that might be like a nice style it's like similar like with the bolide you can get the more slouchy bolides and then the more structured ones but I really love this uh, Vert Armand colour. In different lighting, it can look a little bit more like a light tone, but then in other lighting, it looks more like a dark khaki colour. Oh, it is just gorgeous. And I like the way that I've kind of, I paired it with um, these Wow Twillies. I had these Twillies for a while. I actually bought them for my uh, Birkin and Rose Poupre, but um, I ended up putting on the purple Twillies on this Birkin, which I think looks very um cute and um, I put the wow twillies on this one and I think that the because it has the green within the twilly it makes the bag pop a little bit but I think you most certainly could go for like a neutral twilly on this as well and like tone it down a little bit and this is my buddy charm so cute I got this from the boutique this year um, but yeah, you could really just like dress this up or down however you want. Garden Party I've seen also comes in the size 36, which is the bigger size, which I feel might be a little bit heavier. Um, and I've actually seen on the pre-love market a mini Garden Party, uh, which I think is like vintage, but I've never seen a mini Garden Party, like a new edition of it. So I wonder if in the future they'll like reissue the mini garden party because that would be absolutely adorable because I know last year they were, well actually this year and last year they they did the um the micro picatin was which was also like there's something they've done in the past. So I wonder if they'll ever do a micro garden party. I think that'd be so adorable. Um, in any case, I think the size 30 is very versatile. As I said, I used it on my holiday. It was very easy to get in and out of. And I will say that it was a lot easier to use than my gypsy ear with this like opening and closing. I loved wearing my gypsy ear because the color is so fun and I feel like it's a really standout piece. But if you want something a little bit more easy and practical, I think the garden party is a beautiful uh, bag to get and the leather is so soft guys like it doesn't feel like any other bag I felt it, it gives me the same feeling as to where when I like first got my Picotin like I was shocked how soft the leather was and how beautiful the grain is it just has this beautiful texture to it that I feel like like only Hermes leather has <laughs> I know that sounds a bit snobbish but it just it is the the quality of the leather is like nothing I felt I have noticed that um I will say that the cons of this bag is it has no feet so I feel like if you get this in like a lighter color just be careful of where you place it because the bottom will get it'll, it'll be more obvious when it's dirty and I have also noticed on the pre-love market that the corners wear out kind of fast and I would say that is also due to the fact that it doesn't have feet um if you look at like a Birkin then it they do have feet so I feel like they have more protection from the ground but this bag maybe because it's more casual as well and it's designed to just be slouchy and sloppy they decided not to put feet on it and also the interior is a canvas so I feel like they kind of cut they cut out a lot of the like elevated attributes that a Birkin might have or a Kelly and they made this very very minimal and I kind of like how minimal this bag is because it means that you can really dress it up with different twillies and bag charms which is what I really love doing. I even put like a different Pegasus on it or I could put uh, two rodeos, uh, different twillies. So yes that's my new bag uh, and so far it's been a hit like I've been using it all the time it's just I think because it's neutral it just goes with everything and it's my second grayish bag in my collection um, 
this was my first one, my bunny, and this is my second. So, unfortunately, I haven't worn my bunny yet because, I don't know, I just think it's too cute. But something like this, I find that it's very practical and it's just like a no-brainer bag. Um, so, yeah, that's my new bag. I did get one other thing on my holiday, which I'm going to probably unbox next week. I decided to show you guys that as well, but stay tuned for some more shopping vlogs this week. And I hope to talk about some of the latest releases that are coming out. Like I noticed that on the Louis Vuitton men's runway, there's a lot of like crazy bags. So uh, let me know if there's any topics you want me to talk about in particular. And yeah, thanks for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye.